there is a big focus in, I guess, the base Yaakov world for girls on, on Sneas, on the exterior. Although we do know that uh, the biggest part of Yiddish guide is about the inside. Um, why is there such a focus on the exterior? And I guess, not to say that there's no focus on, on, on the interior, but there's a very, very large focus in Klai Israel on Sneas on, on the exterior. How come that is the case? We, are all, we all know that if you're constantly checking skirt lengths and tightness and giving feedback on clothing and, and, and collar and all that stuff, then you could turn someone off because they think you're obsessed with the external, you're turning me into an object, um, you know, it's a man's responsibility not to look, this is all you care about. To a certain degree, they're right. Sneas is not just a mode of dress, Sneas is a way of life, it's a mindset. Ostentatiousness in life, in homes, in cars, in jewelry, um, is, is something that is a violation of Sneas. The Navi Micha told us, that's what God wants us to do is Ima Lokecha. So it's interesting, there's only two places in the Torah it says Ima Lokecha. Tomem Tia Ima Shem Lokecha. You should be Tomem, you should be pure, you should be whole, you should be sincere with God, Im with God, and Hatsnei Alachas Im Hashem Lokecha. And the answer is because when it, when it comes to both of these, your level of sincerity, your level of trust in God, your level of purity, who you are inside when no one's there, no one's watching, the part of you no one can see, only God can know. And your real sense of modesty is not only external that's measured by how you dress, but it's who you are inside. Are you humble? Are you modest? Are you grateful? Or do you think that you're all that? You're egotistical. You're the, the life of the party. Um, I've said a couple of times this week in different shiur, my wife just told me there's a new store at our mall, Town Center Mall in Boca Raton. The name of the store, Nachi, believe me, the name of the store is Selfie world, selfie world. You go in there and the, the store is different scenes and you take your phone and you can take selfies. It is a store promoting and geared to and supporting a culture of selfies. Selfie world. We live in selfie world. So being selfie world is immodest. Modesty and sneas is that the world doesn't need to revolve around you. Modesty is not just about dress. Modesty is about consumerism, ostentatiousness, a mindset, an attitude, an ego. Uh, and then it's also about dress. Now, why are we so bothered by the dress? Why do we focus on that? First of all, it's much easier to measure. It's much easier to measure. You can see it and you can measure it and it's external. So it's easier to see then what's really in someone's heart or how they're living or what their attitude or what their personality is. We are living in a hyper lewd, lascivious, promiscuous world, a hypersexualized world. And I think the more extreme the immodesty has gone in one direction, the more extreme the hyper modesty has gone in the firm world. And that's why I think in the end of the day, we become somewhat consumed by it and we um, stress it and emphasize it and we demand it. And unfortunately, we judge or measure with it because the more the world has become immodest, the more that we think that the reaction is to become hyper and obsessively modest. And I'm not sure that it's effective. I'm not sure that it's effective to the people, the young minds that we're trying to shape and mold. I think we have to continue to talk to them about self-dignity, self-respect, that we want people to relate to who they are not as an object, but who they are as a person. And when a person dresses provocatively, and be very clear, you could cover your knees and elbows, but be wearing clothing that makes heads turn. And that is immodest. When you are provocative, when you are drawing attention, you know, I always quote, it's not my, it's not my original saying, but a woman should look in, in, in Torah, in Halacha, I, I think the hashkafa of the Jewish people, is that a person, a man or a woman, should be attractive without being attracting. You don't have to wear a paper bag. You don't have to be a sack of potatoes. You don't have to wear out-of-date clothing. You could be attractive without attracting. So when a person, even if they're covering their elbows and knees, or a man, you know, this trend of men with the super tight everything, let's say you can pull it off, which many of the men trying to can't. So it's immodest for a man or for a woman. Be attractive and not attracting. And the key is, don't we want the people talking to us and relating to us to be doing so for who we are as a person, not because of what we present superficially or skin deep. And that's the argument for modesty. The argument for modesty is challenge the people interacting with you to be interacting with your soul, with the real you, not interacting with what they see on the surface. So you could be attractive, be stylish, be part of the times, be proud, but without being attracting that that is distracting people from who you really are.